What's going on, gang? Big Rob with MakeBeerEasy.com. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe, like the channel so you can get all the updates and shite that I send out. Today's video, because I do do a different, very, is that a word? Variants, variable, various different types of videos. Brewing is my, well, I like to say my specialty. Um, but I haven't been doing a lot of that because summertime around here and I'm living in an apartment at the moment. I don't have a fermentation chamber temperature control. Then I was too damn lazy to make a swamp bucket. So instead, today is, I was doing this years ago and then Mad Dog and I just did one. Oh, you like my shirt? Like my shirt? Check it out. Ooh. <laughs> I'm your Uncle Barry. Best movie ever, man. Best movie ever. Wyatt Earp, Tombstone. That was Doc Holliday. Actually, I've got the exact same. Where is it? Can't even see it. Right there. Say when. Yeah, I'd say that movie had an effect on me. More ways than one, I guess. Anyway, back to what I was saying. So I used to do these review um, beer videos, uh, rate beers. Um, sometimes I would rate commercial ones um, or big breweries, and then sometimes home brewers would send me beers, and I, I wouldn't I wouldn't rate you because I appreciated the free beverages, so I didn't want to uh, piss anybody off and uh, then stop getting the free beverages. Um, and then last week, Mad Dog and I we did not last week, a couple weeks ago. We did, uh, we just got hammered and I called it. We were trying beer and blah, blah, blah. So now I'm calling it back to Rob Rate, big Rob Rates beers. That's what we're doing. So you can't see it, but I'm leaning on a little goodie bag here. This bad boy right here. You go to the old lacquer store and they give you this thing to put your beers in the back. And this is just, it's just a big fuck. Sorry, YouTube will kick me off. Fecking, we'll say it, that's how the Scottish, the Irish, and the, the Brits say it over there. That's spelled F-E-C-K-I-N-G. So, YouTube, if you're tuning in, that was fecking. That's how they make their fecking money. They used to give away paper, cardboard holders for your beer that you can run around and put your beer cans in. And, uh, and, you know, they gave you that for free. You know, a little customer service, a little give back to the, you know, the the, the, the paying customer that keeps them in business. Not anymore. This is, and this is all government owned here in you know, New Brunswick, Canada. Now, it, oh, it's got a little little handle so you can, you know, skip the lilies here to leave in the liquor store. Dollar ninety-seven or something for this shite bag. And guess what? I have about a hundred of them because I never remember to take them to the damn liquor store with me. Anyway, so this thing is full of eight different beverages. I might do eight videos tonight on each one of these and just get right shammered by the end of her. Um, but what I'm going to do, I, I don't even, I, I can't remember which one's which. I'm just going to put my hand in this thing right here. Oh, you guys want to see this? Is this, you know, some live action, live action here. See it as it happens. I'm just going to pick one of these out. And that's the one we're gonna. <laughs> I was laughing about this one earlier, guys. I always look at the wrong thing. I've, I've got this camera facing me because I like to see myself when I'm doing videos. You know, it's kind of kind of a little obnoxious or a little uh, conceited, I know. But in order for it not to look like I'm looking off in space when I'm talking, I got to look at this stupid little green dot way over here. So I'm staring over here, which really pisses me off. Wayne Gretzky. The great Canadian hockey player. Now, believe it or not, I might be, oh, here, here it is here. I might be the only Canadian you'll ever meet. Now, there's a couple of them because I got a brother the same way. Not hockey fans. Not hockey fans at all. Um, football, and I'm not talking the kick the little yellow and black ball around, which we call soccer. I'm talking American, Canadian rules football. Um, football rugby though, so there we go. I'll get back in the good graces of uh, my uh, friends upon, across the pond after I just insulted their soccer ball. Um, rugby, 100%. Used to love playing rugby and a little bit of basketball, um, but never hockey. So, Wayne Gretzky, what the hell do you, sir, know about making beer? Did Wayne Gretzky give up the puck and the ice and the skate stick, go brew beer? Something tells me that he's tapping into the name recognition. Good for him. Wayne Gretzky, number 99, Craft Brewing. This guy's a little signature. How nice, how nice. 
Maybe that's what I should start doing, signing my beers I give out. Light Session Ale. So I don't, I, it's going to be interesting because I, I, when I first picked this up, I thought it was going to be a, a Session um, IPA. Don't think it is. I think he's just talking a Light Session Ale. Kind of, you know, like, I doubt it's a mild, but maybe that's what he's shooting for here. Uh, light Beer, 4.0% lacquer um what else do what can i tell you here like the damn light behind my camera some bright um bread not bread brewed with a winning finish they wayne gretzky you know big winning champion clever clever uh in mind a refreshing four percent alcohol session ale to keep things light with a trot oh yeah here we go so it's gonna be it's gonna be a session ipa with a tropical and a ro tropical aroma and a clean citrus finish that, that's original it's like every other beer out there these days hop her up with some citrus and you've got yourself a winner horse shit ingredients water malted barley hops and yeast <laughs> Yeah, that's what you put in the beer there, Wayne-o. Mind telling us what malted barley, what hops, and which yeast? I almost don't tell you which yeast, but sometimes you can get the, the grains and the hops. Uh, so this is brewed in Niagara on the Lake, Ontario, Canada. Man, those guys are in some lockdown shit. Now, don't get me started on this pandemic. That's why I'm doing this tonight. I am so damn sick of this pandemic crap. This vaccine shite, this passport crap that I'm just losing my mind. So I said, I need to drink some beer. I need to talk to my people. That's what we're doing. I just say, you know what? Take your vitamins and drink your beer. And yes, these are female vitamins. Okay. Don't take these if you're male. Um, I don't take them. I'm sure they're fine for you. Apparently, I buy them for my daughters. Apparently, uh, something to do with your nails and your hair and also good for your, your body and shit. Anyway, take your damn vitamins. This, you know, here, here's some, here's some, here we go. Vitamin C and D, fire it up. Take your, I remember Hulk Hogan used to when he was a kid, or when you were a kid, or I was a kid, you, 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 eat your vitamins and you too can, whatever. No, say your prayers. I was always, say your prayers and eat your vitamins. Well, I say, eat your vitamins and drink your beer. Anyway, enough yapping, man. This is almost 10 minutes. Don't shake it, Rob. Just trying to get the water off. You should always clean the damn top of a can when you buy it in the store because rats and shit, when it's in storage, piss and shit on that. So this is why it's wet. I always wash this. This is my hypochondriac side coming out. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. You know, she's, uh, yeah, whatever, call it a it, uh, light IPA. Pretty, pretty clear. Definitely not in New England. Maybe just a fucking sessionable pale ale. Or maybe it's exactly what he said. Just a light pale, light ale that he's hopped. You know, there's going to be citrus. What's he got? Anyway, clear, clear looking beer. Um, you know, that's a, that's kind of neat. I like, I like, I, I'm, I'm all about my beer. Clear, clear beers. I like that. I'm, you know, the cloudy ones. I'll have them from time to time and enjoy them. Um, not a lot of rising bubbles. You got some in there, but not a lot. Not a lot. There's one little stream, but that's probably more from dirt on my damn glass or something. I did wash this, but uh, anyway, nice beer, nice head on it. I like a, I like a little head on my beer. Everybody likes a little head on their beer. <sighs> Citrusy. <sighs> I want to say citra, but that's just what I want to say because I figured that's what everybody used, citra and mosaic, maybe galaxy, but I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm guessing that it's it's a mixture of uh, one of those three, plus like Cascade or Centennial. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing. Fucking could be way off. I don't know. Cheers. Ah. It's fine. Um, not a big aftertaste. Not real dry. Um. Uh, again. <laughs> you know, it's 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 a it's a big time session beer. Uh, I'm not boozy at all. Yeah, not you're not getting crazy flavor. Um, yeah, it's not it's not over overly hopped. You're not getting a crazy hop aroma. So you know, it it is what it is. Um, a hot day, I could uh, I could see myself cranking a few of these. That hot day, I could see myself cranking back. 
a, quite a few of any beer, but um, the average person could crank a few of these back on a nice hot beer. And yeah, not bad there, Wayno, not too bad. I might, I'd, I'd buy it again. Uh, what am I gonna be? I don't dislike it. I don't, I don't love it. But then again, I'm, I'm, I'm I lean more towards the maltier beers, so I am a little biased in that regard. Um, so definitely not malty, not at all. No grains, well, no, no, not much one, not grainy. So I, yeah, I'm gonna give it a seven. I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. It, 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 it's not terrible. It's not bad. It, it, it is good. It tastes good. Like I say, you'd probably enjoy it. I don't know where the hell you can order these things or not. If, if you're not in Canada, you might just be shite out of luck. Um, unless you want to do a swap season with Big Rob, send me over some of your beers to try, and maybe I'll find a way to ship a Wayne Gretzky 99 to you. Anyway, guys, uh, and they, they got a bunch of them, apparently. Um, I don't know if I bought another Wayne Gretzky one or not, but they got, I think there was an IPA I saw there, and he had a bunch of them. Um, oh, that's real cool. So the, uh, the you guys probably picked it up. I didn't. The, the can's supposed to be it. An ice rink. A hockey rink. You go, Wayne. Pretty cool. Anyways, good for him. Not a bad beer. I'm going to enjoy this. Um, stay tuned, guys. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to at least do four of these tonight. What the hell? You guys won't see them all tonight. Cause you probably won't even see this one tonight because I'll probably be too shmammered to uh, get this damn thing edited and uploaded. I'm still your Huckleberry. Um, anyways, guys, you like the video? Like it, you didn't, well, and whatever. Doesn't really matter. Um, reach out, drop a comment. Always love hearing from some of you lads. Love hearing from all of you lads, but I hear from some of you on a regular basis. So always good to touch base. Hope everybody's doing well in the brew tube world. Um, we will be having a brew day here real soon. The weather has cooled down significantly, so I feel safe in getting um, some brews on the go. I have, anyway, I'm, I'm ramb rambling on. Um, subscribe to the channel. I will put a link to my blog. I'm giving away free recipes. I'm doing up recipes all the time. I'm putting my recipes on in blog posts. So I just did one on a Kolsch and I've got an IPA on there, Bale Ale, blah, 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 stout. It goes on and on. I'm doing those on a regular basis. So you can head over to my blog and you can sign up for my newsletter where you'll actually get, um, excuse me, where you'll get uh, notice when um, I have put a new free recipe in. Okay, so uh, subscribe to the channel, head over to the blog, the link will be in this video, and uh, sign up to my newsletter. That's it, guys. Big Robbie's out.